So moving on from series circuits, we can now look at parallel circuits, where basically as you have more components added in different loops, this actually decreases the total resistance of that circuit. So um, the current is the same everywhere in a parallel circuit. That's not necessarily true because in each loop of that circuit, there might be a different current depending on the resistance of that component. But what's really important is that across each loop, you have the same potential difference. So on this one over here, we'd have five ohms across a resistor, sorry, five volts across a resistor and five volts across that filament bulb. So that's why the answer for this is five. Um, we then did some calculations, again, using the equation V equals I times R. We want to find the current. We know the potential difference across each of these is five. We know their resistance to find that across the resistor, we've got 0.5 of an amp, and across the bulb, we've got one amp. And that means the total current, if we've got, and again, this is where you can actually mark up your diagram, through the resistor, it's 0.5, through the bulb, it's 1.0. That means there must be 1.5 coming from that cell, where 0.5 goes that way, leaving 1.0 to go that way. And to work out the total resistance, I'm just saying this is equal to the potential difference of the cell divided by the current from the cell, which gives 3.3 ohms. So what we can see here is that even though there's a 5 and a 10 ohm component, their combined resistance is lower at 3.3 ohms. Okay, next question. We had, this is more of a comparison between series and parallel circuits. We have the same components connected either in series to a 10 volt supply or in parallel to that 10 volt supply. Now, to work out the total resistance, we just added them together in series. In parallel, because we've got two things with the same resistance, their combined resistance is actually half of their value, so that's why it's 2.5 ohms. That was a bit tricky, I, I realise that. But effectively, if we've got something with 5 ohms and something with 5 ohms, their combined resistance is 2.5 ohms. The potential difference across each bulb here, though, that 10 volts is split equally, so 5 volts here and 5 volts there. Whereas here, they both have 10 volts across them because it's a parallel circuit. And the current was worked out using these values. If it's got 5 volts across it, it's got a resistance of 5 ohms. This gives a current of 1 amp in each of those lamps. Whereas here, they've got a current of 2 amps. So what we find is that even though we've got the same components, in a series circuit, across each component, we have half the potential difference and half the current compared to in parallel. And that's why in a parallel circuit, these would both be really bright, whereas these would both be quite dim. And again, I just put that in here at the very bottom on that last question. So a bit more introducing you to parallel circuits.